Warning, this video may contain foul language, crude humor, and is meant for an adult audience. Please be advised. Hello and welcome to another edition of War Journal Toys. I am Jason, your toy vigilante, here to be your forward observer in your toy hunting missions. Let's debrief. So, today, we're going to take a... Uh, we're going to talk about my uh, rant video and uh, the whole Wondar uh, shit show with Mattel Creations. Um, I got got my notes, so when I look down, I'm looking at my notes so I can keep my thoughts so I don't drag this out and make this too, too much of an extended video. But I have some thoughts um, on what happened, and I wanted to get with my community and anybody else that was wondering why I was so fucking wound up. So, here we go. So, first of all, I want to thank my, uh, my, uh, my, uh, uh, to all the people that commented that are in the community that express their opinions and their thoughts. I really appreciate it. Help kind of put things into perspective with me because, uh, Trust me, I was pretty fucking lit up if you didn't see that that uh, video. Um, thank you for all the new subscribers that subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm, I am working towards getting more subscribers so I can get the word out on things with collectible toys. With Especially now, right now, my priority because of circumstances. Motu, I love Star Wars and G.I. Joe. But trying to get those is kind of a pain in the ass. So I've kind of put a halt on that. And then my finances are a little wonky right now. I'll explain later. So um, let's go with, okay, so that, that, that. Uh, sorry I lost my shit, but it's just the way I felt. I'm a construction worker. I'm an electrician. Um I kind of speak my mind when necessary. A lot of times, most everything stays in my head. I may be saying, fuck you in my head, but I'm saying, good morning, let's get your shit done. So, when I'm looking at my notes, don't take offense. Uh, I just want to put into perspective some of the things. Like, I'm having uh, a personal difficulties in my life, not earth stra earth. I'm not starving to death. I'm not, like, losing my house or any of that crap. Trust me, it's pretty fucking minor in the grand scheme of what's going on in the world. My my difficulties are pretty minor. But in, in my world, they're stressful. So, bear with me. So, what do you call it? I had a job with a general contractor... They pissed me off. I pissed them off. We decided to go our separate ways. So I don't have a full-time job now, so I'm a little stressed about that. But luckily, I saved up some money, had some a little forethought, and I got, I'm got i kind of living on that, and I have some side work, which is keeping me uh, employed, and money still coming in, so that's good. But between... Uh, a lady friend of mine that we're kind of seeing each other, my mother, my best friend, they, are, they were really pushing me to go get my electrical license and open my own business instead of working for Chump Change. So I am in the process of doing that online, which I never wanted to do that because I'm a professional installer. I love pulling wire, putting shit in, making people happy. I do stuff from little crackpot things all the way up to multi-million dollar homes. So, um, the, also the other thing is, is I'm in the process of trying to quit smoking, which is like the hardest thing I've ever fucking done in my life. Uh, I've done any number amount of drugs and I've quit all that. Um, and quitting smoking is the hardest thing I've ever trying to accomplish. So, I've got it down to where right here is a little nicotine pouch. And uh, so I'm getting my nick fit without fucking freaking out. Um, da, da, da. So, number four. Okay, 
I am definitely moving on from this Mattel Creations thing. Uh, I'm probably not going to buy anything from Mattel Creations just because of the shit show it is. I mean, you're supposed to be having fun collecting these toys, right? Why the fuck is it so goddamn stressful? And so, unless something comes up on Mattel Creations, I might try again. But really, the like I wanted the Wondar because when I was a kid, we ate whole wheat bread. Mom was not buying that white bread shit because there's no nutrients in it. It's And it says enriched and everything, but mom was like, no, we're not buying that crap. And I never saw the offer anyway back in the day. So I really wanted to get this one because it was like cool artwork. It was a, an exclusive, blah, blah, blah. And obviously I got canceled on the second run like a bunch of you guys. And I understand you guys got fucking pissed and I'm still fucking a little pissed about it because uh, Mattel Creations really needs to get their shit together. Um, da, da, da. I am, I had contemplated with uh, just, it had crossed my mind and I would mentioned it to one, one of my subscribers that I was thinking about just dropping the whole Masters of the Universe collecting and fuck it, it's not worth the time and effort. And I started thinking about it and you know what? The Mattel Creations thing is its own little separate entity of Mattel. And I'm not gonna fucking, how would you say it? Damn the rest of Mattel because Mattel Creations can't get their crap together. Um, because Mattel, like, I love the Origin series. I really dig in the Revelation series, even though I tried getting Beastman at Target the other day. And one, it wasn't there. I called another store. They're saying, oh, we don't have them available. They're out of stock and we're not getting any more. So I wasn't able to get that Beastman, which I really wanted because I saw another, um, review on it from a guy I follow on YouTube and that thing looks so tits and ass but like on eBay it's 50 fucking dollars and it's like fucking really 50 bucks plus fucking shipping you're paying 60 dollars for a 30 dollar toy plus tax and it's just it's very frustrating and then especially right now I can't I can spend a little bit of fun money but I can't go out like I used to when I had a regular full-time job and side work because I work in the last four or five years. I've been working six, seven days a week. I'm not married. I don't have kids. And I like having fun with the toys I have. I have literal action figures and toys. I collect firearms. I collect all kinds of stuff. And my stuff can be kind of high priced if you're a firearms person you're into ARs AKs any of that you know the the base the base weapon is one price but then you start putting on lights lasers so forth bells and whistles get really fucking expensive ammunition's really expensive AR ammo is fucking 50 cents a pop 9 millimeter, fucking 30 cents or so a pop and it's like every time you're shooting, you're just burning money. And then here in Arizona, there's fire restrictions. So I can't even go. I like to go shoot once a month to keep up my skills because it is a perishable skill. And I can't even do that. So I'm a little stir crazy too, plus the stress of everything else. So moving on. So I'm going to keep going with the origins and the revelation. Um... I'll, have to, I'll pick and choose, not everything I like. Uh, I'm kind of picky on some stuff, like the Viking He-Man. Not interested, but I really like the Viking Skeletor. I like the, the, the Merman, and I'm looking forward to Zodak and some other ones that are coming up. Um, I've realized I can't get everything, even though when I was a kid we were super poor, and whatever I got I was fucking lucky I could get. So now that I'm an adult making money, it's like, oh, I want fucking everything. I want the whole shebang. And now that circumstances have changed, it's like, yeah, I got to cut back to what is reality and moving forward with that thought. So let's see, where are we? Do, 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 five, six. 
Okay, I mentioned about Mattel toys and, and, and creations. They're different groups of people. Um, Mattel as a, as a company, they employ thousands of people. So if the whole community just said, fuck you, we're not buying your shit anymore, that would be a detriment to Mattel. I mean, it, they would end up having to lay off a bunch of people that work hard. Um, yeah, some of them, yeah, most of the toys are made in China, but those people would lose their work. The people in the offices, the corporate people all around the world would lose lose work. And I don't want to fucking participate in that. There's a lot of people losing, losing their jobs because of price of gas and so forth. Um, our, uh, the powers that be right now are not fucking helping the situation, which really sucks, but I'm not going to get political. Um, I'm not going to voice my opinions on that. It just sucks. It was better before what was going uh, before with the previous administration. At least on the price of gas is the biggest thing. Now in Arizona, it's five five plus dollars a gallon, and I have to use. I live out in the sticks, so I have to drive like the closest Walmart's 18 miles away. The closest Target is fucking 20 25 miles away. So I have to do a lot of traveling so I've had to knock that down to a minimum or if I go to town it's just basically I'm taking care of multiple things in one trip so when I pay 25 bucks for a trip it's I'm getting the biggest bang for my buck out of it um so what do you call it? let's see six seven so Mattel back to Mattel creations they really need to get their shit together. And if any of you guys are fucking listening to this video, I know it seems like the Mattel Creations people are a group of artists that really love their job and it's fucking awesome. And you guys are producing great shit. Don't get me wrong. I love, I love the art. I love the toys. I love the ideas. But the people that run your uh, website you need to get better people or you need to get a better system because it is flawed like fucking crazy and from all the comments that i was reading and i try to respond to most of them some of them was just like hey cool i got canceled too and i told them on the second run i got canceled also and it was uh, basically an emotional roller coaster that day it was like i didn't get the first wave and then they popped up and then I got the, I ordered three because a friend of mine, the, uh, I get some stuff from Panama. I was trying to get hook him up with one and what do you call it? Because they would not send to Panama, they won't send to Panama and they won't send to a P.O. box. I was really trying hard to get us one because I wanted one for me, well two for me and one for him. I wanted one for me to open up and be able to do a review and all that good stuff. But then I wanted one in the package that I was going to leave in a package because I am an in-package collector. And I do like loose. I collect both. Some stuff I do just, I open the package and I could care less about the packaging. But some of it, I, I and I'm, I'm going to be honest, it's it, when I collect, I also have the forethought that here in the future and maybe 20 because I'm almost 50 and maybe in 20 30 years if I make it to 80 um, I would like to sell off the stuff that's in the package and get a little return from it I know it's not going to be a retirement fund that's fucking idiocy but it's a little something because like my firearms I know I have many firearms but the best part about firearms is I can buy my my stuff and for some reason I need to get some cash I can take and depart with something that I, maybe I have multiple something or whatever I can get money I always have a little uh what would you say a little oh, fuck what's the stupid word by the way I don't cut my videos I don't have time for editing software I'm not going to learn how to do that shit so this is in one take people and this video is already almost 15 minutes long and I apologize but if you if you're really passionate about this you'll pay attention if not so be it 
but I, I just want, uh, you'd say a like rainy day fund. Cause like I collect my, uh, on my electrical, I collect scrap wire and I collect it in a pile in my backyard. And in one year it saved my ass when I didn't have work and I had to go recycle a bunch of copper wire and it paid a house payment that year because it was a lean, lean fucking year. That year I only made like fucking 28,000, 30,000. And that was like 2012 or so. So I always like to have a little backup. I like to make sure that I'm not fucked. I don't like scrambling and being super stressed out and trying to get shit together. And I don't want to sell my collectibles and sell all my guns. But if I have to sell a couple here and there, it is what it is. So, but back to Mattel Creations. So, I am looking at my notes. Um, they need to get their shit together. Uh, they're, let's see, Mattel Creations needs to be transparent with adult collectors because it is tuned to the adult collectors. And... If you guys give a shit about us, I mean, really give a fuck, not just say you do, you guys need to fucking start talking to us and telling us what's going on on your end. These little secret things and stuff, that's cool, but you need to, be, you need to get with us and we are adults. We're all adults. Let's talk. Let's communicate. Let's get shit done. You guys are making a product. You're trying to make a profit and I understand that. You're making cool shit. But when you don't talk to us, that frustrates us. That pisses us off. That makes us not want to buy your fucking crap. And if you fucking can't cooperate and be transparent, all you have to do is put out some videos. And trust me, we'll haul watch. And we'll tune in. And we understand problems. We understand supply chain issues. Because fucking all of us have seen it in this country since the, the fucking COVID crap. Um... So we, we can forgive and we can move on. But if you don't talk to us, we start losing our shit and we start giving a fuck less about your toys. And if it gets too ridiculous, everybody's going to start not collecting the regular Masters of the Universe. And anything like Mondo and your limited editions of the statues and all that, people are just going to be like, nah, we don't care. We're going to take our money elsewhere. Ask Disney. Ask Netflix. Shit can happen really fast, like overnight. And then you're laying off employees. Your product is sitting on the shelves, which really it's sitting on the shelves because modern kids don't give a fuck about Masters of the Universe. I see everything is pretty much peg warming unless it's the latest and greatest. Um, but I think you guys need to apologize for the fuck up on the second run because everybody it seems like everybody on the second run got their shit canceled i don't know what happened why it, it, the computer spit out that it was available and then you come up with this we're sorry you're canceled here's a ten dollar thing for future things that was kind of a fucking insult to us um I could give fuck less about your $10. $10 means shit. That's two gallons of gas. Who fucking cares? I can make fucking, like yesterday at my side work, one job I was making 75 an hour, another job I was making 60 an hour. So really, $10 means fucking zero. Zero. And it doesn't fix the problem. It doesn't make me feel better about myself. Or I'm going to look forward to the next Mattel Creations release of Masters of the Universe. And then you guys still have stuff sitting there. Like the Jurassic Park with the guy sitting in the chair. You can still buy that fucking thing. And it's been available for like two or three weeks. So your shit's not all flying off the shelves. But your Masters of the Universe stuff flies off in a couple minutes. So keep that in fucking mind it is hot commodity even for the fucking assholes that are on the secondary market like ebay and so forth so you mattel creations take note get with us be transparent you need to apologize for what happened take ownership of the problems and fucking fix them because uh let's 
go back duh, 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 duh. because the artists yeah they're creating shit they do what they do best but you need to employ people that are IT tech tech dri uh, savvy people that can make I mean we're not going to be able to fix the system 100% don't get me wrong I, I'm a realist on that because I was discussing this with uh, somebody else and yeah you can't get all the loopholes but you can sure shut down a whole bunch of it to make it difficult for these fucking cocksuckers that fucking do scam the system and fucking buy all these toys and then charge fucking 100 150 I saw a one dar action figure that somebody was asking $500 when they were released at that store on the west coast $500 for a plastic toy are you shitting me I can buy a brand new handgun, my preference, I'm not going to say, but you, fuck you. Fuck you. So, um, back to my thing. So, one of the things I wanted to point out was one of my, uh, I don't know if he's a subscriber, but he watched my video. And he noticed on eBay, and I thank that guy. I don't know his name off the top of my head, but if you're watching this video, you know who you are. Uh, I appreciate the info because I did ask for people to give me some input on how they do this scamming for the secondary market. And he pointed out something that I hadn't thought of, and I think he's, and he got his answer. So on eBay, he uh, did, a, did a thing went and looked and he saw a seller was selling 12 of these fucking Wondar things and you're supposedly limited on the website for three and there was other sellers that were three that was all they were selling but he, the guy admitted that he had written software that basically for doing multiple pre-orders so he had software set up however he did it I mean good for him he's creative enough to write computer software fucking all the power to them but we need to make shit to combat this shit because that's still fucking ridiculous um so he wrote software that does the pre-orders so he was able to set up like either four accounts four buyers for everything whether it was shipping billing etc to buy this and Mattel Creations, algorithm, computer, whatever, doesn't catch this, they need to fix that. Because I've bought, tried buying multiples of other stuff from different things that were limited, and I always got shut out. So the software and the ingenuity on figuring this stuff out is out there. It's just, are you Mattel Creations gonna enforce this, or are you not gonna do a fucking thing and fucking make us suffer because Mattel Creations is an adult driven thing is not for kids I mean if kids are buying it cool I don't have a problem with that if, if their parents are trying to pick this up for Christmas birthday whatever because your kids are really into this stuff that's awesome I want the kids to be part of this this community but I'm speaking to adults right now because I cuss like a fucking sailor and I'm an adult I'm a construction worker and I'm not going to start spent censoring my speech now. Uh, I'm too old for that shit. I have to uh, tone myself down around customers and stuff, but I will, it takes effort. Um, but here, we're all adults. If you don't like my cursing, I'm sorry. Uh, it's what I do. So, da da da. But, we need to we need to fight the process and get the the collector more in tune with this. We need to fight the scammers and the bots uh, for buying this shit. Let me make sure. Da, 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 Mattel, da, 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 da. So that's basically my rant. Um, I want to say again, thank you to the the community. Uh, to all the people that reached out to me and they told me to move on and get over it and chill out and all these different things and people told me about being canceled and their little uh, point of views and I appreciate it. I really, when I started it, because I started this channel 4th of July weekend uh, last year and truly I didn't think I was gonna, I'm up to 
I don't know how many subscribers, uh, close to 350 subscribers. And I thought, well, there's got to be people that think like I do. There's got to be people out there that collect like I do. Because there's a lot of collectors. All they do is rip open the package and display loose action figures. And that's cool. That's your prerogative. That's what America's about. Freedom of choice. Liberty. And I don't begrudge anybody. But I just wanted to put my point of view out there because I like the packaging. Because the packaging, it's, it reminds me of when I was a, a kid. Because when you went down the toy aisle and you looked at G.I. Joe or Star Wars or He-Man. I'm not a big Transformers guy, but either way. Uh, all that artwork was kind of, that was the that was the essence of the 80s and the cartoons and stuff and that was what was fucking cool about the 80s um now it's just kind of eh, everything's a remake and a redo and a, and nobody has any fresh thoughts and the fresh thoughts are okay for the new generation but i i'm kind of stuck in the past and i'm gonna be uh, I kind of collect old stuff. I collect old electrical stuff and old antiques and military stuff. And I, if you don't learn from history and you don't like history and you just want to the, do the new and the greatest, latest and greatest things, that's fine. But I always, that's where I came from. That's where I love my stuff because I went down the toy aisle and it was, there was the latest fucking He-Man with Web Store or Beast Man or Trap Jaw. I love Trap Jaw. I loved Beast Man. He-Man was a dude, but I always had a fascination for the evil guys, um, like like uh, GI Joe, Cobra Commander, Destro, the Baroness fucking hottest fucking chicken fucking G.I. Joe um, Star Wars Darth Vader fucking loves stormtroopers I have a white Toyota that's all blacked out I consider that I'm driving in a stormtrooper so that's what that's what my point of view is with this one dar shit show um, I wanted to give an after action report and let you guys know that I'm definitely over it my blood my my uh, blood pressure's down. I'm not freaking. I'm not freaking out anymore. Um, but yeah, again, thank you for you guys for co all the comments. Uh, even if you thought I was a fucking idiot, that's your opinion. We're allowed to have opinions. We're allowed to disagree. That's what America's about. So I'm Jason. This is War Journal Toys. Enjoying my Mountain Dew because I hate fucking coffee because it tastes like shit. If you love coffee, go for it. But if you like my content, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.